okay so I've got uh, I've got to the stage where I think I've got enough on there so I look at the join and if I can see the metal then I can put more on if I can't see the metal I'm usually happy and if my finger bounces back I don't want to cram too much on because I want a nice light and open um, roofing to come off so my first taking the first lot off use the doffing tool pop it in there Pick it apart. I could get more on here, but I don't want to at this stage. Uh, roll it back. Just brush that so it doesn't catch the liquor in too much. You could undo the liquor in. You know, this you could take it away, but I'm a bit lazy. I don't do that. Um, and I'm stripping this off at the back here. Not, I'm not doing too fussy at this stage because it's all going to go through again. So I don't have to worry about leaving too, a little bit on the on the drum at this point stage. But I don't want any lumps there, so if I see a lump, I will pick it out and drop it off in the bin. OK, so that's the first one off. If you hold it up to the light, you can sometimes see the lumps. And that's going to be split now. I'm going to split it in half, maybe stretch it a little bit. And then I'm going to split it widthways, through its depth as well. So it's now going to be in four pieces, that one batch. And I'm going to put it back through without trying to catch it in the wheels. Put it back through. You can go a little bit faster this time. So you want to spread it out really nice and thin so that it can have a real go at it. And layer it up nicely. Don't be afraid to stop. The best thing to do is to stop. If you think it's not working properly, stop. As with spinning, stop. Because you'll never make it better by just jamming it through. And each piece is going to go through, spread open. So there's a dog hair in there for some reason. Okay, no, there it is. And each piece will go through until I've got all that fibre back on the drum. So I've now done, gone through the carder the second time. I'm going to take the fibre off. Doffing tool again, um, and I'm going to use this little, oh, this little dog brush that uh, I use to help me when it's the final go through because I want to clear as many of the fibres as I can off the off the drum. A, it keeps the card clean, helps when you want to clean it, but also it means you get your fibre off cleanly. Um, and again, three hands would be useful, <laughs> but we weren't made that way, right? So, I'm, I'm resting my hand now on the, on the wood that's at the back of the counter and gently peeling it off. And then every so often I give it a little help with the brush when it looks like, particularly the edges where it's thin, it gets a bit caught in the times. And it's coming off nice and cleanly though, actually. Probably towards the end I need a bit of a brush just to get the edges down. As I say, three hands or another person would be very helpful at this point. I'm um, getting near the end. Get the brush to get the last bits off and lift it off. There we go. There's a bit of left, bit of stuff left. And now we've got a nice airy bat. Oh, I'll just kick, kick the bucket. Nice airy bat. Give it a slight extension, a little bit of a twist. Turn it into a roving and then wind it on itself. And you've got one to go with the other two which are here so we've now got a nice little collection of bats of, of rovingy there we go for our afternoon's work not bad i feel <laughs>